Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and today we are taking a look at the Climb Rowan bib available at Revzilla.com. So within Climb's lineup, you have two different levels of protection when we're looking at their snowmobile apparel. We're looking at either non-insulated options or insulated options, and keep in mind this depends on the kind of sledding that you're out there doing. The Roan is going to be the top of the line option for your insulated riders out there. So if you are an East Coast rider, you're traditionally using your sled more for transport, wet, cold snow, this is going to be an option for you to consider. And there is going to be the matching Roan Parka as well. And really what you're getting here is premium everything, premium Finsulate Platinum. You're getting premium three layer Gore-Tex performance shell. You're having a variety of different deniers material coming in. You have a 600D in the impact zones, 200D in the body for maximizing comfort as well as warmth. Really what Climb did is they took the kitchen sink and they just threw it at the Roan. So first thing I want to touch on is going to be the sizing with this. So buzz saw on my left hand side stands at six foot, weighs in at 215 pounds, 46 inch chest, wears his jeans in a size 38, 32. We have him in a size large. According to Climb's size chart, Buzzsaw should be in an extra large. He would be swimming in an extra large. We sized him down to a large, fits him spot on, and he's wearing these currently as overpants. So keep that in mind. You can wear these over top of your jeans, or you can wear them as a standalone option. The choice is up to you. Sizes range from a small up to a 3XL. And if you need a tall, longer length, remember Buzzsaw is going to be a 32 inch inseam. He's wearing the regular, it fits him spot on. But if you're a 34, 36 inch inseam, there is a tall option from the sizes ranging from medium up to 2XL. And black is going to be the only color available. So within Climb's line, we have known Climb for being a premium offering for snowmobiles, ADVs, on-road, off-road, dirt, whatever it is that you have a, a, you know, a hankering for in a motorized vehicle, Climb has a premium offering for you. And really what we're seeing with the Roan, around the $550 price point for the bib, this is that top of the line insulated option. And it's really gonna be your step up over something like the Kiwana. The Kiwana is gonna give you more localized insulation. It's not gonna be as durable. It's not gonna give you all the premium points. And that's really where you're getting that $100 price increase over something like the Kiwana. And it's because you're using Thin Slit Premium, which is gonna be hydrophobic. It's gonna be a, a high loft insulation. It's gonna give you dual layers of insulation. We'll get into all that. You're also looking at three layer Gore-Tex. You're looking at 600D nylon, 200D throughout the body. There's just a lot going on here. And it's really the Gore-Tex that I wanna start with because everyone knows Gore-Tex at this point, right? If you don't, Gore-Tex is guaranteed waterproof. That's really what you're getting with that Gore-Tex name, but it doesn't just stop there. Really what we're seeing with Gore-Tex and the benefit, or the benefit that we're seeing here is the sweat wicking properties. And that's where you're getting that three layer performance shell. It helps to just take all the moisture building up around your skin, around your body, and it just pulls it out. The last thing you want when you're out there on a cold, frigid day is all the sweat and perspiration to be sitting against your skin. So the Gore-Tex, it helps by taking that moisture, pulling it off of your skin, and you don't have to worry about that making you cold. Now, this is gonna be used in conjunction with the premium platinum insulation that we're seeing from Thinslit, because the last thing you want is for Gore-Tex to start pulling that moisture away, and then it just builds up in the insulation. So the insulation on this is gonna be their platinum insulation from Thinslit. It's hydrophobic, it's not gonna absorb water. It's also gonna be a high loft insulation. There's a just a giant feel to this stuff. And you're gonna put this on, there's, I think, 350 to 400 grams of insulation, depending on where you're at. And then the 200 grams that are gonna sit directly against your skin are gonna be silicone treated. So in addition to being hydrophobic by nature, you're also gonna have that silicone treated insulation to make sure that there is no way that that insulation is absorbing water or moisture. Because if it does, if you have a, a lower grade insulation that absorbs moisture, it can hold it into the insulation. And then as the temperature drops, that turns to ice, it gets cold, and then you feel cold despite the fact that you've got Gore-Tex and you've got insulation in here. So it's really nice to see that with their top of the line piece, they're just putting everything in here and they've really thought of all the different possible options. That could be a potential fail point for you when you're out there in the cold. And the other thing we're gonna see here is like I said, 200D nylon in the, in the main chassis. You're gonna have your impact zones that are gonna be beefed up with a 600D nylon. Starting with the top, you're gonna have dual pockets on either side and a full zip entry point for getting the bib on and off. Now the suspenders are gonna be permanently attached. There's no way to remove those, but with the main zip and then you're gonna have the large zips running along the legs, it's very easy in, easy out of the Rowan. 
So as we work our way down, you do have the tether attachment on the right hand side, your emergency tether for attaching to your sled. You can use it, you know, if you want to attach keys there as well, you have a few different options for that. And then the other thing you'll note, you get down, you have fleece lined hand warmer pockets on either side and inner thigh vents. So if you do start to overheat, if you are, you know, getting a little more active, you can open up the inner thigh vents. They're water resistant YKK zips. And then you do have the, uh, the dual directional zips on either leg. You can open up for venting there as well. The other thing I want to point out, as we're taking a look at the thigh zips, you'll notice right at the top where the zipper garage goes into play, you're going to have these little pieces of bar tack stitching, and you're going to see it throughout the entire piece. One of the things that really sets Climb apart is the overall durability of their gear. You can take this stuff out, you can beat the hell out of it, and it holds up. And it's just those little accents of quality where you'll see it just with the extra layers of bar tack stitching to make sure potential fail points don't fail. That's what you're getting when you move up into a piece like Climb. Now as we work our way down, at the knee we talked about the reinforcement with the 600D nylon for your abrasion resistance, but there's also going to be temper foam pads in here and you can replace those. So if you want to upgrade to full on D30 knee armor, that is going to be an option for you as well. Now that's going to help you in the event of an impact, but also if you're out there and you're using your sled for checking traps or maybe you're working and you're you know, up and down off of your knees, it just helps to give you a little bit of extra protection there as well for added comfort. So the one thing you'll note, Branding overall, we've seen Climb really tone their branding down over the years. So just a little Climb logo over the right knee and then pops for reflectivity as you get down to the bottom part of the leg. Buzzsaw, I'm going to have you face sideways for me. Now starting with the top, what you're going to see at the waist, and I really like what they did here, they added a strip of lycra. So if you do have a little bit more of a belly on you, when you are in the seated position, the lycra adds as, as a, a stretch material almost to give you added comfort. And then as you work your way down, you'll notice that two-way YKK water resistant zip starts right at the top of your hip and works its way all the way down to the bottom. If you decide to open it from the top, the nice thing here is like I said, Buzzsaw is wearing this as an overpant, but you get direct ventilation into the inside of the pant. You can use it as a vent. You can use it to access if you have cargo pants on, you have pockets on the inside of your pant, you can get in that way. And if we zip that up, you'll notice that we go from the bottom. This works very nicely. If you want to leave the boots on, you can leave the boots on, get in, get out of the part, or get in and out of the boot or the bib, and you don't have to worry about removing the boots. You can wear it as an overpant in that regard. And then, much like we talked about, if you watched the Rowan video for the parka, there was a snow skirt on that to make sure that there was no moisture, snow, sleet pushing up underneath the parka. We're going to see the same thing mirrored down along the cuff. So, there's going to be a snow cuff on this. You're going to see there's going to be a snap at the bottom and then Velcro lining all the way up. And what this is going to do, it just holds very nicely against the boot. And if you take a look at the bottom of this, there is going to be a rubberized gripper panel just at the bottom that's going to work very nicely to hold it down along the boot so you don't have it riding up. Then once you snap that into place, it's going to work the same way we we're talking about with the snow skirt up top to prevent any moisture or water or snow, what have you, pushing up from the bottom. You can run that all the way up, easy on, easy off like we talked about earlier, and then one final snap at the bottom to secure everything down. So I'm going to have you go ahead and face backwards for me. Working our way through, clean, simple lines. They've really minimalized for as big and bulky as the insulation is in this. They've done a nice job of minimalizing the, uh, the bubble butt that we've seen from Climb. Even in the Kiwana, we saw a little bit more of the bubble butt than we're seeing with this. And as you work your way down, you're going to see pops reflectivity with one additional little piece of the Climb branding over on the left-hand leg. Buzzsaw, you may face forward for me. So for riders out there that are riding in extremely cold temperatures, you are looking for maximum insulation, maximum waterproof protection, maximum breathability. The Climb Rowan is going to be a bib to consider. And remember, there is going to be the matching park as well, so you can outfit yourself from head to toe for maximized warmth in the extreme colds. Now, there's a lot of riders out there utilizing Climb apparel on their sleds. And if you want to hear more about what they have to say, click the info button on your desktop or mobile device, which will allow you to read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there utilizing Climb products. If you have more questions for one of our gear geeks, pick up the phone, give them a ring at 877-792-9455, or simply shoot us an email, cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the Climb Rowan bib. I am Spurge. Enjoy the ride.